What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're talking a very important topic. What jailbreak you should be using on your device? I'm getting this question quite a lot so let's get straight into it. This video is brought to you by Anyfix and their contest where you can win the brand new iPhone 12. All you have to do is to share on your social media with the hashtag backupwithanytrans the story of your first iPhone. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably are aware if you've been jailbreaking for a while there are a variety of iOS versions and of course a variety of jailbreaks from Checkrain to Odyssey to Uncover and many others for other versions. But right now the ones that are relevant to us are the Uncover, the Odyssey and the Checkrain. Now these are all pretty different jailbreaks. The Checkrain for example uses the iPod DFU's uh, Checkmate exploit which is actually a bootroom exploit. So this one is a semi-tethered jailbreak which requires a computer with this application installed in order to be able to jailbreak. While the other two, for example the Odyssey and the Uncover, come in IPA format and allow you to jailbreak directly from the device without a computer, granted that you have the application signed. But which one is actually better? It's not a simple answer as to say for example Odyssey or Uncover or Checkrain, it all depends on what you need. For example if you take Odyssey and Uncover, it, there's not really much of a difference between them. In fact Odyssey uses a reverse engineered version of the Uncover exploit, which was basically detailed by Project Zero in here. So it's basically a little bit of a ripoff of the exploit used in the Uncover. Without that, it's very likely that Odyssey wouldn't have existed. But they basically reverse engineered Uncover and created their own tool. That's not necessarily something bad. It's good that they were able to do it, but getting a jailbreak shouldn't be a matter of brand or a matter of icon or a matter of who created it, either Coolstar or Pound-Own or whatever. It should be based on the functions that you need and of course it should be based on how you use it. Now it doesn't really matter if you use Checkrain or Odyssey or Uncover as long as you don't pay attention on tweaks you use. You can use something like Tweak Compatible for example to get an idea whether your tweaks are compatible with your iOS version because if you're using tweaks from unknown sources or pirated sources or you know shady looking sources in general and not the official ones it doesn't really matter how good the jailbreak is and it doesn't really matter what iOS version you're running it would still work badly because many times tweaks that come from shady sources and pirated sources and stuff like that are not updated or they're poorly updated, they are modified and of course this can break things and many times they can even contain malware. So it doesn't matter how good the jailbreak is, it would actually still work badly if you get your tweaks from bad sources. And they don't even have to be from bad sources, they can simply not be compatible with your iOS version. And tweaks compatible helps you again with this problem. By the way, tweak compatible is completely free and you can install it in Cydia. And you can select a specific version from here as you can see and decide whether a specific tweak is compatible with your iOS version. So for example Color Banners 2, if you go in here you can see exactly what the users report. So it seems to be working on 11.2.5, however it says in here likely working on 13.5.1. Now if you go ahead and search for example for a different iOS version like 14.0 which is compatible with Checkrain on some devices, you can see that there are many tweaks that do not work. For example MagSafe version 1.0.2 appears to not be working. If you go on 14.0.1 pretty much the same thing. Complications version 3.4.1 is declared as not working by the users who tried it. So if you use tweaks that are not working, not compatible with your device, they will very likely install on your iOS version and they might even appear to be working but they can actually create a lot of problems no matter if you're on Uncover or Odyssey or even the Checkrain which at this point is the most stable jailbreak. You should use whatever works best for you. There shouldn't be a battle between who uses Uncover and who uses is Odyssey. I've seen this a lot, many people calling each other names because they are fans of different jailbreaks and stuff like that. If your device allows it, you should try all of them and you should see which one works the best for you. And if it does work the best for you, definitely use that one. There are advantages and disadvantages in both camps and also for Checkrain. For example, Checkrain is not available for Windows, somehow limiting the way people can install it. So to recap, you shouldn't really choose the jailbreak by the brand or by the logo or who created it, but you should actually try them and see exactly how it works on your device and of course how it reacts with the tweaks you use. But the most important thing in order to have your jailbreak work perfectly fine is to keep it updated to the latest version and of course to use tweaks from official sources and it's also worth mentioning that you should never use too many tweaks. If you don't need it, don't install it, only use the tweaks you need. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.